This is Twit. From 3D printers to cables of all shapes and sizes, Monoprice is a pretty decent, relatively cheap maker of the tech things we all want. When I heard that they were getting into the smart home market, I knew I had to try a few of the products. So they sent us the Monoprice smart plug and the Monoprice smart bulb. Here's what I thought. The Monoprice Wi-Fi smart plug lets you control a lamp or another small appliance from your iPhone or your Android phone or tablet. It works over Wi-Fi so you don't need a smart home hub. The plug also works with your Amazon Echo, your Google Home, and your IFT, or if this then that. You can schedule it to turn on and off at certain times, and it will report electric usage stats. The plug supports up to 15 amps or 1800 watts of power at 120 volts AC and 60 hertz. Good enough for the small stuff, but don't go plugging your washing machine into it or anything. To start using the smart plug, shoot your camera at the QR code to easily download the simple Home Connect app from the iOS or Google App Store. Register for your simple home account with your mobile number and then plug your device into an outlet. Confirm that the light is blinking rapidly, then follow the directions to add your device. Note that this will involve your Wi-Fi password. After you've added your device, the light on the smart plug will turn pink. Plug a light or another small appliance into the outlet and then you can control it with your phone. Set schedules for turning the appliance on or off and put it on a timer if you want. If you want the schedule to occur more than once, tap repeat. You can have a different schedule for every day of the week. It will also track and monitor your energy use. Pretty basic, but it works. And as I believe I mentioned earlier, it is cheap, only $15.99. And for another $15.99, you can also throw in a mono price smart bulb. This is about the same price that you'd pay for a single white hue light, but this bulb doesn't require a hub. It offers the same controls as a smart plug, either turn it off or on with your phone, your Amazon Echo, or your Google Home, or control it with IFT, if this then that. You can also schedule it to turn off and on at certain times on a schedule or a timer. This light consumes seven watts and produces the equivalent to a 50 watt incandescent bulb. When I set this up at home, it was pretty straightforward and easy. I got it set it up like that. But then when I tried to reset it up here in the Twit Studios, it was very difficult and it took a long time and it just wouldn't connect. You know, you've been there. Finally, after we had four or five very smart technical people in here helping, we realized that it wouldn't set up because we had a dash in the name of our Wi-Fi network. When we looked through all the help files, it said letters only, no numbers, no spaces, no special characters. So who has numbers or characters? in their Wi-Fi network name. Not everybody, but what I thought was this was maybe emblematic of the fact that they didn't take all the care they need to make these devices super easy for anyone to set up. Also, you should note that like most IoT devices, it only works on a 2.4 gigahertz network. I am Megan Maroney and I host iOS Today and Tech News Weekly with Leo Laporte and Jason Howell. Plus, starting July 5th, I'll be hosting a 12-week season of Know How with Florence Ion, all about the Internet of Things.